Okay, we're going to solve simultaneous equation okay, by the metric method. So let's look at this question. Use the inverse metric method to solve the equation 2x plus 3y equals to 5. 2x minus 3y equals to 1. So first of all, let, let's write down the equation. Okay. So let's write down the equation. Okay, 2x plus 3y equals to 5. 2x plus 3y equals to 5. And 2 minus 3y equals to step 1, we got to write it in metric form. So what we write down? 2, 3, 2, negative 3 times xy equals to 5, 1. Once that's done, we're going to let a equals to the 2, 3, 2, negative 3. We got to find the a inverse determinant of a equals to 2 times negative 3, so negative 6, minus 2 times 3, so minus 6 with negative 12. So a inverse equals to 1 over the determinant. Flip the two number around. Add negative to this two number. Okay, so that's a, a inverse. So therefore, xy equals to the a inverse. Multiply by the 5, 1. Okay, so 1 over negative 12. This times this plus this times this will give me negative 18. This times this plus this times this will give me negative 8. So that will give me 3 over 2 and 3 over 4 for my x1. So x equals to 3 over 2, y equals to 3 over 4. Okay. So let's go on. So let's do our second example. Second example, write down the inverse metric of the metric write down the inverse of the metric 2, 2, negative 3, 2, and use it to solve the simultaneous equation. So the order of the question has changed. So we're supposed to find the inverse of the metric 2, 2, negative 3, 2. So I'm gonna write it down. Let A equals to 2, 2, negative 3, 2. So determinant of A determinant a equals to 2 times 2 minus 2 times negative 3 giving me 10 so a inverse therefore is 1 over 10 switch the number around 2 2 switch around add negative to this 2 number so negative 2 3 so this is the a inverse and we are asked to use it to solve x y is just 15 x plus y is just 15 2x minus 3y equals to 5. So let's do our a inverse is 2, 2. So we must make the first equation, we must make change it to 2x plus 2y equals to 30. That's my first equation. The second equation needs to be negative 3 in front. So um, I think I copied it wrongly. So it's, the equation is 2y minus 3x. 2y minus 3x. Okay, so rearrange it. Negative 2x plus 3y equals to 5. That's my second equation. Therefore, I can say that 2, 2, negative 3, 2 times xy equals to 35. <coughs> so xy equals to the inverse function, inverse matrix times 35. The inverse matrix is 2, negative 2, 3, 2. Okay, so I'm going to multiply this times this minus this times this will give me 50. This times this plus this times this will give me 100. So the solution is 510. So answer x equals to 5, y equals to 10. That concludes our example.